Hi friends, my name is Prasad. You are watching Power BI with Prasad. Today I come up with a new real-time scenario. Let's go with that. First of all, here our requirement is we do have products and sales. We need to create sequential rank for that. Here our main scenario is we need to create a sequential rank even if we have duplicate sales also. Let us suppose that for AC and laptops, we do have the sales amount as like 40, 450 thousands or else for like 50,000, whatever it might be, but okay, the two values are same. In general, if we give a rank, we will get the same rank even if we give in a, a skip or dance. But our scenario is we need to create a rank which is sequential. So how we can do that and what are the scenarios that we need to follow to achieve this answer, we'll learn right now. Before going into the solution, we do have a small intro regarding our new batches. We are starting Power BI and SQL new batches very soon. So interested people can join. And then we are also starting a new real-time project for Power BI. So interested people can join. And also we share a lot of information, materials, and a lot of content on our Telegram channel, which is Power BI with Prasad. Please uh, try to subscribe and then follow Power BI Prasad Telegram channel. And please subscribe to our Power BI with Prasad YouTube channel and then hit the bell icon to get our later, latest updates. So again, we'll go into the solution. So let me give you a small brief how we can achieve that. In general, if we find rank, so how we'll get that? Okay, let me give you a small uh, description regarding that so that you can understand. So first of all, I do have a table which consists of products and the sales. So this is my table. And then afterwards, I created a rank I try to create a rank and then what I'm getting right now, I, I can show you. The thing of, of the rank X is, you can get it from here, the table, an expression, and then value is an optional, or this is an optional, and then ties is optional. So we'll dig into that also. So first of all, I've been given my um, table name here, which is product sales. And after that, okay, um, um, the expression is nothing but the sales. Based upon this, I want to create a rank. So obviously, I don't want to have any value, give any value. I'll just skip it up, skip it back by giving another comma. And after that, I want to make it the order as descending. Descending. So for the first rank will get the, uh, the highest sales will get the first rank and then dense. So obviously, when it is dense, we'll get okay the ranks one after one. If we skip, if you make it skip, I'll show you what it is. Skip. So let me prove that. If you skip the rank, you ranks whenever you have multiple uh, ranks, then the number of multiplied ranks will be okay removed from here. So obviously you have two uh, two two times obviously. So third rank will be removed and then we'll get a okay, rank from four. This is how. But even I don't want to get that one. My our scenario is not that one. Our scenario is to get sequential ranks even if we use dense or skip we don't get the sequential ranks for the same value or duplicate value so how to achieve that here okay we need to understand the algorithm how how we can achieve that one whenever we found a value which is duplicated or same then we want to make it to get the rank on basis of the product name only when these values are same, then we need to rank it by this product table. So how we can achieve that? So for that, we need to create a couple of columns and then uh, we need to, uh, using that column, we need to create again our, our final rank. So another purpose is like, when we want to like filter that one, again, if we keep the product in the filter and then filter that again, our rank need to be work perfectly without any disturbances. That is the second criteria. So we'll uh, look into our solution, okay, which fulfills our both the scenarios. One is like sequential ranking, and then second, even we filter back products again. We need to get the output in sequential ranking only. So how we can achieve that? So first of all, let me take you uh, to our table. It has been already created. I'll explain one by one. So this is my product table, and then this this product table, entire table. This is my yeah um, products, sales, 
These are two things that I do have. And after that, I try to create a rank based upon this. So when I try to create a rank based upon this, obviously you can see that. So I got two ranks when I do have two values, same values. But this is not our function. So what we can do? First, to achieve that one, I need to create a rank based upon this product name. So we can create that one. So rank on product name. So simply rank, okay, table name. And on which column do you want to like create rank? On this particular column, I want to create rank. And then again, I want to make it on descending order. So whenever I have, so let me show you that how it looks like so that you can understand. So whenever I, I do have alphabetic order, I need to get a bigger rank. Whenever uh, it is like, okay, the last, um, the value in alphabet cloud, right? It is at the first rank. This is what uh, the way that we need to create because the first one over here, let us suppose that this we have like two values that are same. In that, whenever it is alphabetically first, then I need to get more number so that I can do something with this uh, to this value. I'll get another number, and then for that, I, I'll create a um, rank for that one. So let me do the next step once after you create the rank for the product then we need to do okay this ranking with some relation to this sales so that we can get a derived value from that we can create a table so we can create a rank so how we can create this kind of derived value for that okay so what we need to do is very simple so we need to take the sales right we need to take this sales and now this is not necessary, so just make it clear, right? And then um, you can see this. So maximum of this rank, I want to find the maximum of this rank. And after that, I need to cre create a derived value. So how we can create a derived value? Sales into maximum rank plus this particular rank of product. So that is the calculation to get the derived value. What is that? This sales column into maximum rank on this rank of product. On this rank of product, what is the maximum value? Sixth is the maximum value. So obviously we are not going to take it hard coded. We want to make it dynamically. So we found ma maximum rank of product from this variable. And after that, for this column, we are multiplying with maximum of rank, which is nothing but six over here in this particular scenario. And then afterwards, we are adding this particular rank to that particular value. So obviously, we'll get this rank, and which is exactly the, what we are looking at. And then if we find rank for this one, so obviously, that is the result. Again, here, I'll, I'll give you two scenarios. One is like you can create a rank for this value in column. And then if you create this in column, what is the difficult that you find? So again, I'll make it. In descending order, you can see the ranks. So for these particular values, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have the sequential ranks. Obviously, you might think that, okay, this is the solution, but we do have another scenario that we need to look into, right? Let's go into our report view, and then let's go into our second thing, where I've been, uh, took all this call, created columns into our table, so that you can see this is the rank earlier, which was uh, created by this one. And after this, this is the rank on the product. On this product, this is the rank. And after this is the derived value, which have been calculated based upon the sales into maximum of ranks plus rank of product. So this, after this calculation, I got this sales. And then this is the rank I created in the column, which I've been shown right now, this one. Rank based upon this derived value, I made it in, the, in this particular column. And afterwards, I'll check what happens in this one. So I don't want to have this one first right now. I'll delete that one. So you can see rank have been created in the particular column and then I'll want to make it by this descending order. And then whenever the sales is maximum, I got the rank and then we got the sequential ranks. But the scenario is we need to filter the product from the slicer. Even after that, we need to get the appropriate ranking. But when we make that one, you can see the ranks are one, two, three, six. 
the ranks which were created in the columns, if you get it and then we filter it, we don't, we can't see that the, the dynamic ranking can be happen over here when we create a rank in the column. So that's the main issue. So for that, again, we need to create rank in the measure that gives us an appropriate answer. So how we can do that again, like, okay, so uh, let me show you, um, um, let me get that one also over here and then let me show you how we can create um, this rank. To create this uh, final rank, okay, I just need to have a small other calculation also. We need to create the total of these values, okay, so which is like uh, total of these values. Okay, nothing but sum of these particular values. So we need to create the sum of these values and we need to use that one over here in this particular measure. Right? That is the main thing that you don't need to forget. Sum of these particular values that you need to create and then that works. Uh, okay, for this current context, or known issues, we'll get the same answers. Okay, why I created that one? Because, okay, we can't use over here the sum of, okay, uh, this particular expression and then we can't get that one answer. So to achieve that one, we need to create this particular measure. And then after we need to create this rank. So how we created this one? So nothing but all selected of product sales. And then this particular measure that have been created. And then after our descending order, and then, okay, this is what our expression to create this. This is what our syntax or is whatever the code that we need to create this one. And again, once after this one, so again, you can filter this and then you can see the ranking. What are the products that you filter? You'll get the ranks according to that. But rank in the column is something different, but we are getting the ranks only for the products which we select. And even if we have two products values, which are very same, but still we do have sequential ranking based upon the names. A first, A comes first and then L comes second. So obviously this value will be given, okay, first earlier rank, okay, and then this one is the latter rank. And again, as per our request, okay, we can get that ranking. Again, the ranking will be in sequential every time and no need to worry whatever the products that you select. And this is what you get the answer over here. So this is the general rank to create. And then this is the rank that we need over here, the sequential ranking, even if we have duplicate values, and even if we filter that one, the products will get the same appropriate ranking. So hope you understand. If you don't understand, or if you have any comments, or if you have any suggestions, you can just uh, keep them in the comments so that I can give you a reply to that. So just, uh, I'll come up with another um, real-time scenario very soon. Okay, until then, bye-bye. Please try to subscribe to my Telegram channel and then YouTube channel. Okay, hit the bell icon. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye again.